today I'm going to show you how to do this eye makeup. Hope you like. I'm going to start with a light moisturiser. It's a Clinique one. Oops. This is nice and cool. Massages your eye bags. Oh, feels lovely. Settle for a minute. This is one of the Revolution eye bases. So open it up. So the moisturizer has been absorbed, it's only light. Now, with my finger, to rub this in. Quite moisturizing as well over the whole eye area and eye bag area, the whole thing, out to the side, out darkened area, taking it even out onto the tube. Give you a closer look. Now I'm going to use a white eyeshadow from the Jeffree Star palette. Definitely. Any white eyeshadow will do. Right, so I have the white eyeshadow all over. Just giving it a little blend, as you can see. Now you want a nice, light reflecting mid-tone on your eyelids. Let's see. So I'm going to choose the Inheritance. This one. Slightly smaller brush, as we want it in one area. Quite like this brush. Light reflecting. Just wear this in the day. Take it to the inner corner. Take it right out. The trunk of the car looked like a mobile police narcotics lab. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline. More in the next side. Solid blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, and a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers. His loyalty-free music. There we go. Now I have quite deep set eyes, so I have quite a natural crease here most of the time. Sometimes they're a bit puffy, more puffy than this. But what we want to do is, and for the ladies with more of a slight overhang, see my now can go a bit like that, is a slight, a medium, but not excessively dark colour here, just in this area. And we're going to go for, so less of a sparkle maybe in this one. We're going to go for a mid matte, say this colour. Very light hand, so these are quite pigmented. Now we do the, I've using the same brush. In the area, pop it on first in the area on both sides. Ooh. Now we can blend this out. I'm going to wipe my brush to because I put a bit too much on. Blend it out. Now I've got a magnifying mirror to the side of me here so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's blending quite well. 
I didn't really intend to put any dark there, so I'm going to rub it off. These things happen. Right there. So that's what happens when you use too much powder and too big a brush. Now I'm going to light up the inner corners where everything's a bit sunken here. So I'm going to, here's a highlighting, this highlighter. This is quite cheap. Can't remember where I got this one for, a couple of pounds. And here we go. Taking it to the middle. Now, we will take this little, quite thin brush, and we're going to take darker shadow. We're going to go for. Angel of Death. Dab it like this. Now here we're going to the triangle out. Take it quite far. Dab more on as you need it. the eye. So you can deliver right into the eyelashes if you don't want to go. Building it up. Taking it here, right by the lashes, making it wider as it goes out. Take it out to the eye. Then repeat on the other eye. Now, I'm going to take the same colour and I'm going to put it on the outside of the socket. Up, raising this area where it's creating, lifting the outer corners. That's done compared to the other side. Compared to this eye and this eye, you can see. Now I'll do the other eye. Now you could really stop there for a daytime look and just add a bit of liner and sort out the under eye area. So we're going to carry on now. Let's carry on now for a more dramatic look. Now we're going to use hers in black and we're going to emphasize we're not going to go right to the edge of this area we created we're just going to intensify it by the lashes with the same brush tiny little dabs on the tip cutting and going in here Here we're taking it a bit higher. Corner slightly in. More powder as needed. Small motions. There we go. Keep 
remove that. So that's a slightly more dramatic look. I'll take do this eye. I'm going to rub the brush, a little cloth. Underneath, I want a bit of sparkle. So I'm going to go for last look. This is all going to be tidied up later. Oh, that's a lovely sparkly one. And also a darker one. More tributation. Oops. Is that the outer corners? Swinging it up the corners. Now, we're going to be tidying up here and disguising eye bags a bit. We older ladies can do a cut crease. So I will have a little go now on top of what I've done just to show you. Although I do have a crease, so I'll keep it roughly where it is. If you haven't got an obvious one, you can just do it. So we've got the transition shade here we've got a light sparkly here but we can work on top of that there we go and now for extra sparkle in the middle shameless just dab that on with my finger in the middle of the eyelid to use this little liquid highlighter it's very bright because I feel like it needs something bright to fight against this in the corner paint it on oh on a little bit there Now I'm going to emphasise the crease a little bit more with a darker one, but this time in Passion, which is a creamy, slightly iridescent, darkest dark brown. Not too far there. Blending it out nicely. Wiping the excess off my brush. Adding a bit more to the crease. This would be nice on the outer edge of underneath as well. Smaller brush. Keep darker colours always towards the outside and going up. Now I think I need a little bit more intensity even, and we're going to go for this dark, totally brown. Just right inside the socket line here. Depending on your eye shape, that this might not, it's more for people, deep set eyes and uh, then that would be nice on the outer edge, whatever your eye shape. 
Now, blend that in a little bit, this fluffy brush. Oh, blending. Now, quite happy with that. I'm going to sort out under here and the eyebrows. Today I'm just doing a simple eyebrows with an angle brush. Jeffree Star again. No use, solemnly swear. Upward strokes. Oops. Just this is the easiest thing to do with your brows. Shape them. Give them slight emphasis. So you haven't got much time to mess about. Is this thing ever? There we go. Blend them. These colours have got a lot of pigment. And I would say that would do to emphasise it, the shape more. I'll go in with my white eyeshadow, Death Blow with a brush with a nice straight edge, soft, tap it gently, go along the edge. Just so you've got a little bit of contrast between the two. Same in this eyebrow. Tidy that up. Now for the liquid eyeliner, liquid eyeliner Rimmel. Very easy to apply. A little stick. Close your eye. Do your wing. Now, those of us with older eyes need to wait a second for this to dry before we close our eyes and then open them. Take this right by the, right into the corner. Keep it nice and tidy. Great tip is to hold your ooh, eye out. Now for the other eye. Now for mascara, Lush Paradise. Rather good. L'Oreal. Do your lower lashes first, always. Head down. on clumpy scar look today. Now to do the upper one, base, very important to get it to the base, wiggle the brush up to the end. This mascara is very buildable and for quite a bold look. Quite gentle, doesn't feel stiff. I curled my eyelashes earlier. I buy and derive eight cosmetics. The dewy fixer. Use that on my sponge dampener. Tidy 
load your pebbler. Now this is purposely too light. I'm not going over my eye bags with it, but around them mainly. Going down to my nose. I will put foundation over. But this is just to get rid of the shadows to start with. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup 